name is Njeru. Njeru Benjamin. Perhaps you can check the forum. Uh, here. So that you can finalize the investigation. We run a day investigation uh, relates to offense of false publication, taking part in an unlawful assembly and creating disturbance contrary to the relevant sections of the law, as captured in paragraph 2, page 1 of the application. The government has begun and as follows. The uh, respondents were arrested on the 25th of July, this year, at around 11.30, uh, at Nairobi Central Business District. Together with others, it's alleged that they caused a lot of peace by interfering with other road users by blocking the road, uh, placing one white coat and seven white coats. We wish to read that of Inspector George Karanja in its entirety. <coughs> you know, once the suspects are booked, they have not been able to provide their places to the court. There are the mobile phones which were confiscated have not been subjected to forensic analysis. Seeing that uh, one of the offenses that they are alleged to have committed is under the Computer Misuse and Cybercrime Act. It is alleged the runner that if released, they might interfere with investigations and that they will have the authority of getting into their social media accounts. And displaying the evidence they are in the room. The runner for that case, the IO they think they have not established their places of abode, they are applied to. And if released before those investigations are conducted, it may jeopardize the investigation of the court. Donna, I pray that the application be allowed as a um, is an matter of uh, public interest it protects uh, the terms of the complaint results. I have listened to my sister from the prosecution and the application, but Your Honor, there are no compounding results from our side to suffice the application to hold our clients for 21 days. Reasons being that um, in their application they've alluded that uh, they've already confiscated the mobile phones. Our clients as law-abiding citizens in this instance complied with the police from the onset when they were arrested yesterday, uh, taken to uh, Kamkunji police station where so they slept. So if you want to write what you say, Sorry. unless you want to talk, then uh, And arraigned at uh, Kamkunji police station where they slept the night. They complied with the authorities what is enshrined in our 2010 constitution. And they complied by issuing a notice to the authorities as stipulated by law. Phones were confiscated as stated by my sister in the prosecution. 
for investigation, therefore it shows the compliance that uh, what you notice that the fourth respondent was is a law abiding citizen. The events of the couple of weeks that preceded this arrest proved that. He has <coughs> and has throughout been in full respect of the rule of law. And the last time, Your Honor, he was brought Yes, yes, and I'll explain why. Your Honor, from the foregoing, it proves that our client and the fourth respondent, as well as the rest, Your Honor, the application to hold our client for our clients for the next 21 days board. Yet that is not true. They allege that they have the phones, which uh, they claim it's because of the criminal, uh, the false publication they wish to hold the phones for further investigation. Therefore, in our opinion, there is no compelling reasons as to why our clients should be held for 21 days, because if they are investigating on the false publication and everything, the matter is already in public domain. And number two, because they already have in custody the phones of the accused persons. The accused persons, therefore, are not at flight risk, and so there is no compelling reason whatsoever as to why they should not be allowed to be released uh, on, on bail by virtue that they have shown goodwill and have done what the prescribed law requires of notifying uh, the authorities of their peaceful protests. I would wish to invite my colleague, Jeru Biden, to continue. For your colleague, he was here on 19th of June. Yeah, I will give it to you, Your Honor. And one of the possible charges is creating disturbance. The second compelling reason is the strength of the prosecution case to avoid belaboring to the extent that the character of any or all of the accused persons is questionable. Apologies, Your Honor. The respondents, not accused. Interference with witnesses, which is clearly which will clearly be fishing on the part of the prosecution because there are no witnesses. They are still conducting the investigations. And if there are any witnesses who can be interfered with, they have not presented the same court, nor given any reasons or any evidence in support of any interference with any witness at all. and that holding suspects in custody while investigations are ongoing is unconstitutional and amounts to unlawful detention. Number two, Your Honor. Justice is a right and should be seen to be achieved. It is not a cloistered virtue. And we're also emphasizing on justice. We also bring on board the humanitarian grounds and human dignity. It's fortunate that his brother met his unfortunate demise during this protest. And the funerals are ongoing, the preparations are ongoing.
and if they insist on keeping him here 21 days, pray tell. Are we trying to tell him that he should not go and attend his brother's funeral? And mother? Apologies, Your Honor, on that. You have counseled Apologies, Your Honor. He was just trying to emphasize on something. Yes. The mother is also supposed to be buried on as per the receipts that we have here. If we detain him here for 21 days without recourse and cause of justice, we also denied him a chance on humanitarian ground. I submit that the application fronted by the DPP is unconstitutional and should not even see the day of the day. Thank you. And I dedicate one more minute to Mr. Stephen Onjiro. Oh, let's just, just take your time. Investigations are ongoing. Your Honor, the I.O. is yet to record all the witness statements and is in the process of gathering evidence. So in essence, the council is jumping the gun. Your Honor, the council has also um, indicated that there are no sufficient Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I will let uh, Ms. Janda highlight on that case. She was the one on record on that matter. No, we didn't have Mr. Bonbis was brought to this court without any charge, and the court they just had us without any file being in place, and he was released. No, 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 the fourth. No, the fourth. 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 The state had to make a directive to release him. Additionally, a photo and the ODDP gave a directive that is not intended to prepare any charges. So it was not? It was never documented. Okay. 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 Okay.